Hi. 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 South Africa's Western Cape is known for its stunning scenery, bustling waterfront, diverse flora, and of course for its world famous wine. But climate change is threatening the survival of the Cape's vineyards. And families like the Malans, who have been in the wine industry for more than a hundred years, are suddenly struggling to survive. The wine industry is going through a bad patch, so it was about 30% right now, if there is any profit. But yeah, very, very few. Yeah, quite few. South Africa is the eighth largest wine producer in the world, with 500 million litres sold annually. The industry provides jobs to 350,000 farm labourers and a livelihood for thousands more landowners. I think everybody agrees that the temperature is going to go up with between one and a half and three degrees or even worse, uh, depending on the climate change scenario you're looking at. To compensate for rising temperatures and faster evaporation rates, farms require more water for irrigation. However, rainfall in this region has also become increasingly erratic. And with a high demand of water in the city of Cape Town for domestic use, there is less water available to irrigate the surrounding farms. A combination of high evaporation from high temperatures and reduced rainfalls means this is going to be less available water for agriculture, for domestic use and for industrial use in Cape Town. This puts South Africa's agricultural sector, which accounts for 8% of the economy, but uses 50% of the country's water supply, in danger of failing. The major impact, in my opinion, will be the, our export value. If the production of our export crops go down, it will have an impact on, the, on farms and we will probably have job losses. Scientists have explored various coping strategies, such as the desalination of the surrounding seawater and replacing the Cape's 200-year-old leaking pipe system. But both options are expensive. And in 2008, the Berg River Dam was built on the last feasible piece of land in the region. To solve this water shortage, the Climate Change Adaptation in Africa program, which is funded by the British Department of International Development and the Canadian International Development Research Centre, is analysing various adaptation methods. We looked at the adaptation options that farmers could do, the way they could adapt, the way they could reduce the irrigation demand, change their crops, change the way they farm. The Milan family has owned the Lentellus farm in North Wellington for 110 years. For the past two decades, Eddie Milan and his son Edward have worked side by side to ensure the survival of their vineyards. Their labourers have noticed recent weather irregularities that have made farming this 250 hectare estate extremely difficult. As a result of the Climate Change Adaptation in Africa program's research, the Milans have adopted new farming methods to improve water efficiency. It's quite uh, expensive to irrigate at this time, so we don't overuse water at any time. We really try to use it um, specifically where it's really necessary. This new mobile phone controlled irrigation system allows the Milans to alter the amount of water their crops receive with a click of a button. There you go. You just send the SMS to it to open the blocks, so when it's a hot day, you can easier, maybe you're in Cape Town or in Johannesburg or anywhere, you can, you can change your blocks and start your pumps with it from a, quite a distance. The Milans also use traditional methods to reduce their crops' need for water. The mulch we put in before the winter time, and it's like a it's like a blanket. It's covered the, the, the ground from um, evaporating and um, dry, drying, drying out. So it keeps the, the moisture in the soil. It also helps with less irrigation to, to spare some water. While these adaptation methods cannot make up for the present and projected fall in available water, 
It is water-efficient farming techniques like these that hold the key to the survival of South Africa's agricultural industry. I really hope that we understand the value of water and conserve water. There's a lovely saying, this, every drop down the sink is one less drop for us to drink. <laughs>